I'm not often floored by what seems to be such a simple film from the outside looking in. Minari is the brand new A24 movie, and I can't wait to talk about it. What is up, Flick fans? Welcome back to my channel. Huge shout out to A24 for sending me a screener for Minari. That I was actually able to check this film out about a month and a half back during a film festival. And if you guys know, A24 is one of my absolute, if not my favorite, studio right now. Consistent, constant. It's not a studio for everyone, but there's such a variety of films from the studio I believe everyone will be able to find a film that they can relate to. And Minari is just another chapter in what is a really cool book that A24 is writing right now. I need you in the comments down below. Have you guys seen Minari yet? Are you going to check it out? And as all good A24 movies do, they take a very simplistic premise and expand upon it using uh, beautiful filmmaking techniques, expert cinematography, and a heartfelt yet subtle story that tells numerous beautiful stories, uh, but an overarching story that tells a passionate and heartbreaking tale about a man who just wants to start a farm in the 1980s. He just wants his family to be successful, but it's such a hassle and a struggle watching this process unfold. For us as an audience, every obstacle that they come to, it's difficult to ingest because of how tough it was just to get to that point. You have Stephen Yun who plays Jacob. His family goes to uh, a very rural area in Arkansas. His mother, Monica, is not happy that they are living in a mobile home in the middle of essentially nowhere. And then you have little David and his sister who are uh, very bored throughout this film. <laughs> so they engage in things that we often see children engage in. Hijinks, a bit of chaos, pretty mean to their grandmother who comes in. <laughs> all the way from Korea to live with them. She lives very differently from David. That sparks his curiosity, and an interesting bond forms uh, between he and Granny. It's maybe not what you're expecting, but beautiful nonetheless. Jacob is a very passionate character. He takes this untapped soil and essentially puts everything at risk. His family, his relationships, his mental state. I mean, all throughout the film, we can see that he's slowly taking on more and more stress to the point to where he just kind of descends, not into madness, but into kind of a devastating state of emotion. You have Will Patton in this movie, uh, who plays kind of a weird neighbor character, not necessarily a neighbor. He plays Paul, who's very religious. And according to, uh, according to Jacob, overly religious. He's a bit odd, but they get along nonetheless because the character of Paul says, hey, I can help you do this. I can help you take this untapped soil and create a farm. And we see this process unfold, and it, uh, it really is a beautiful thing to see come to life. My grandparents, who have had a farm their entire life, are continuing to work to this day at their age and thrive. They're successful, but it's not like it took them two to three years to do. They've been doing it for 60 years. It's incredible to see those that commit to this, those that have to because it's their livelihood, and uh, to see this Korean family living a very different life than what they're used to, but also a different life than what they have been living, moving uh, from a very different kind of area and essentially living the American dream. He's just determined. But then we get these small, subtle tragedies throughout the film that uh, allow this family to form an even more important emotional bond. But then there's a bit of fallout here and there. And Jacob, he's kind of putting everything at risk, like I mentioned earlier, including his marriage. And that's when we really start to hit the emotion. And I'll tell you this, the third act of this film is beautiful but also like emotional in a way that I don't want to reveal to you just yet because that'll probably give something away. All I will say is prepare for an emotional finale. Brad Pitt produced this movie. Lee Isaac Chung is our writer slash director. And oh my goodness, what a talent we have here. Uh, Lachlan Milne, I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly, does the cinematography, who also shot Hunt for the Wilder People, Little Monsters, Love and Monsters. So you know it's going to be a beautiful looking film. And as A24 often does, they give us these beautiful sweeping shots. The cinematography flows like milk and honey. It's beautiful. It really is. Is. And I thought the film not only was beautiful to look at visually, 
But also from an emotional perspective, I think the main issue most are going to have is pacing. Can you get past how slow the movie is? And oftentimes I see a film like this and it's slow for a reason. Sometimes I'm on board with that reason. Sometimes I'm not. In this case, I was okay because I kind of liked the buildup. I liked getting to know these characters and then the finale, which, you know, may not blow some away, but I think it blew me away on an emotional level. It was worth the buildup, uh, but if I had minor issues, it would be due to the pacing because there were a few scenes we could have done without that I don't think serve massive importance at the end of the day. So Minari is so real. It expertly captures the time period. It's a beautiful showcase of struggle and... It has to be one of the most passionate films I've seen all year. My score is a 90%, a 9 out of 10. If you guys enjoyed this review and you'd like more of these independent movie reviews, be sure to drop a thumbs up button and let me know which independent movie are you looking forward to over the next month and what is your favorite A24 movie thus far. In terms of Oscars, I think this is going to get nominated in a lot of different categories. I hope it gets a Best Picture nomination, but oftentimes movies like this are overlooked. But maybe in 2020, due to lack of other movies? Come on, Minari. I think you have a good shot. You guys the best. Appreciate you again for watching, and I'll see you very soon.